Okay, day three, here we are, doing some more setup. Good news is, we're on the downhill slope of it. It wasn't too bad, we're, we're pretty daggum good at guessing, because we were real close to the ballpark. We got our numbers we needed from our chassis builder, we got our front end in spec, wasn't far off at all. So we got everything locked down, all the jam nuts tightened. Now we're gonna set it down on the ground, or sorry, we're gonna set it on some jack stands, and take all the tires off, and we got to take a grinding disc to these things and we got to grind them, get them prepped for racing. So that's coming at you next. You better not be recording me right now. <laughs> 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 he almost got me. What are you watching? American Idol. Who's your favorite? Oh, Alejandro. 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 I don't know who I like. I don't watch it enough. Alejandro. All right, guys, we got. The car is sitting on jack stands now. So we're going to pull all the tires off. I keep looking up here. Right th there. That's where I keep looking. I need to look here. There. We're going to pull all the tires off and grind and prep them. We got to do that every single time we run them. Why? Because you got to keep up with the Joneses and it really does make your tires grip better. That's what everybody's searching for. A little bit of grip out there on the track. A little extra gets you a little bit faster. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. What's up guys? So we're moved over to our tire prep stand. We're gonna use this grinder and a lot of race teams use a lot of different things here. We're gonna use a 36 grit and it's a hook and loop or Velcro on a pad. Got all that from Amazon. If you need to know about it, I can send a link down below where you can check it out. And this is a variable speed polisher so you can adjust your speed on here. And that's important for us to be able to control the speed on it. So we take this and we grind this tire because new, it's just, it's kind of got a glaze on it. So we knock that glaze off, and, but I'm gonna grind this tire. So let the fun begin. grinding it so you've seen us doing that part two on our tire machine we have what's called a tire side and what's that well Brian will show you it's a five position deal okay these are all razor blades and whenever you put this on the tire you can push up on it and it will sipe it put little cuts on these tires whatever direction we want to go so we've got straight across we've got some other ones and this medieval looking thing here that is super sharp is what's called a needler. So what this does is just what it looks like. It pokes a whole bunch of little holes in this tire. It controls tire temp, promotes grip. So the first thing we're gonna do is run this across it all the way, and then we'll determine the next one we're gonna do. So here we go. <laughs>
The next step in our process is we're going to use what's called a circumference cut. It's going to cut around the tire. So this is uh, four razor blades, and it you know it's got a specified depth it cuts here. It's about an eighth of an inch, and we just put it on the tire and push up, and we do that however many times you want to do it. Everybody's different, so I won't share that with you. You figure that out on your own. <laughs> well, you're gonna get to it. Top it all off, we put this, uh, what do you call this? Shrink wrap. Shrink wrap, plastic wrap, whatever. We put it on there just to protect the tires from all the dirt we can until we get it out on the track. And uh, it is what it is. Like I said, keep it up with the Joneses. You gotta do that. You got the oh, I got the button. <laughs> Accomplished a major task today. We've got the car completely set up. Tires are done. Well, at least the four on the car. We've got to prep some more. But as far as it stands, we could load this thing up and race tomorrow. So that's that's a job well done, B. That's what I say, don't you? If you finish, I think all that space will free up whenever we get this out of here. What are we going to build next? Jeeps? Yeah. Got some go-karts? Plenty of go-karts. Yeah. We'll do something. Even if it's wrong. You know? We built better. So I think that's going to be a wrap for tonight. And maybe we'll catch you tomorrow. You just never know. What we're doing here is the old number seven garage.